Say me come from the blocks Girl them know say me fresh to the socks Remember the times when we talk from the cops We pray the money we style them can knock Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel um, Today I'm going to do a quick get ready with me Whilst discussing my New Year's resolutions for 2019 I never ever make New Year's resolutions um, simply because I find it really like cringy and kind of a bit corny but this year honestly I feel like I need to I need to be a bit more productive and I just I want to try and be a bit more focused um, in life I enjoy life to the fullest like I literally have no doubts about that it's fun but one thing that comes with that is the fact that I just procrastinate basically like oh by the way guys i'm wearing this on my head because my hair is an absolute mess so my first resolution is um going to be hard and it's no holidays for six months i mean i don't even know how i'm gonna do that to go on holiday at least twice or three times a year even if it's just to like europe like amsterdam or somewhere like that i mean when it comes to holidays I don't like go overboard and spend like thousands maybe for a change instead of spending money on a holiday like I should just save it now, I don't know I might try and push it out for longer than six months and see how much I actually end up saving when I do get the chance to go on holiday oh my days that's gonna be a very good holiday I'm already planning it in my head I'm thinking okay where can I go when I do um, who should I go with? What should I do? So my second resolution for 2019 is to save more money. I have set myself a goal of saving £200 um, every Friday at the end of the month. Um, that'll be £800. Um, if I can push it to a grand then I will. When I first thought to myself, okay, yeah, okay, how much can I actually be saving here? I was doing it monthly and I was thinking, okay, yeah, let me save um, maybe 500 a month, blah, blah, blah. And then I worked out how much that will be in a week and it's actually not that much. Hopefully, I will, no, it's not hopefully, Sharice. See, it is 110%. I will keep up with the 200 a week. For 52 weeks that will be 10,200 from what I remember from my calculations for me that's really good because I can't lie to you I'm not a huge saver when I do save it I don't <laughs> I don't know where it goes <laughs> I can save loads and it will just be spent on food like literally I have no idea so far I'm doing it with like a week and a half into January and um i have saved my 200 pounds for last week i'm doing it when i was i think i was 16 um my uncle set my set me up with a pension and i literally had no say about it at 16 guys i was a hard worker i had my little cleaning job i used to babysit and i used to work at next um so i had three jobs and he all he said was sharice i'm gonna set up your pension just make sure that you have um, this amount of money by the end of the month and it just came out in a direct debit and it's literally been coming out in um, a direct debit for uh, oh my gosh nearly 10 years <gasps> guys I am old I am so old that is literally the only thing that I've been regularly consistent with simply because I can't access it like right now my savings is in just going to like my normal savings account i'm actually probably going to try and google um some isas if anyone has any any tips or um any good ideas on where to put my money please let me know a normal savings account guys i can just go in and out and i mean the willpower is there now i don't know what the willpower is going to be saying in six months number three um was to grow my channel oi oi so youtube the life drive miss sharice miss sharice that's me consistency is key 
so so far i am trying i just need to be a bit more proactive with like what i'm filming and how often i'm filming i think that two uploads a week will push me to just be way more creative not just one on a sunday like it's like two now over the year i think with two uploads a week which is 104 videos i've already calculated everything um hopefully my channel will have risen if anyone is watching this who just has like an idea of things i can do with this channel comment and let me know i want to venture to more like i don't know guys like what do guys watch you know i'm not gonna start playing playing fortnite or like cod um but i want to do something that engages obviously males um because that's just like a whole different audience guys watch youtube i know they do um but it's just like what do you watch i know doing my makeup obviously isn't really a guy thing but i will get there so i started youtube um in march of 2018 so it's nearly been a year i started filming when i was in san fran and then when i got back to london I don't know I don't know what happened but I just wasn't really in the right mind frame and where I was living at the time just wasn't the right space and environment obviously my main news resolution list but like subcategories is just to kind of focus on where I am and um, how I use the space that I'm in now I'm in a place where I can film um, whenever I want to whatever time of the day and so that in itself will obviously help me to be way more consistent on YouTube. I'm going to look crazy. Look at my eyebrows. <laughs> I was following this one girl last year and her page was like, like she had, she had subscribers and her Insta page, like she had followers and stuff. But now, oh my gosh, she has like literally like i think she i think she reached 100k subscribers on her youtube and that was within one year that kind of spurred me on like she did that in a year um, her name is um she calls herself shade bangs i really really like her i think she's really funny she's very open in how she approaches things and how she addresses her topics which i also love because it's just you know transparency is like i don't know it just makes her a bit more relatable my fourth resolution this year is to read um now guys when i tell you my last book that i think i read consistently without stopping without like skipping pages because i used to, I, I i do do that sometimes with books the last book i i didn't do that with was no word of a lie um, was with Jacqueline Wilson books in year six. I am actually ashamed like That it's not even funny like it's actually embarrassing that I have not read a book properly since year six Like obviously I've been and done education in uni and but those days there was no way I was reading whilst at uni like I was just not on that so this year is definitely my time to properly read and read like a whole variety of things. My uncle James, he always gets me these like presents that are sort of life worthy, productive, about your business, you know, those types of presents. This is the same uncle, by the way, that made me, that sorted out my pension when I was 16. This one that he got me, The Defining Age. No, The Defining, oh my God, I can't even read. The Defining Decade 20, Why Your 20s Matter and How to Make the most of them by meg j thanks meg the bit at the back is it called the blurb the blurb i feel like most people watching my video are probably in their 20s so um it's probably be a good book for all of you to read the blurb says contemporary culture tells us the 20 something years don't matter clinical psychologist dr meg argues that this could not be further from the truth in fact your 20s are the most defining decade of your adulthood okay girl okay this year i can already feel that my mentality has kind of changed like you know when 
you are maybe 21 22 i don't know if this is for everyone but this was for me when i was that age there's obviously things i've i wanted to do like even just this whole youtube thing always wanted to do it never really got around to doing it i don't know i was young i wasn't i just wasn't if i if i didn't want to do something it's not like i really had to do it um but now i feel like things i want to do in my life i have to start doing it now it's almost like a time bomb i feel like i'm just ticking away and i'm getting older and i just need to do everything so yeah this is 2019 of doing everything the second book that i already have in line is or the second books i don't know which one yet but i really like um the feminist woman chamanda i think her name is i skimmed through her feminist book on kindle that was really good actually i never thought myself to be a feminist because my views are kind of traditional i like the whole setup of the wife being at home and doing her thing and the man working i don't even i know some people are going to like raise their eyebrows and think i'm like medieval and i always thought stuff like that doesn't make me that will make me a non-feminist but actually the way she explained it was that we can we are all feminists basically in our own right and um, we just obviously have different views or different beliefs but the core values of feminism never really change i think i need to set myself a goal of reading and how often i need to be finishing books my fifth um resolution is those of you who um didn't know now you know that i'm <laughs> that, was, that was so cringe um that i am restarting my cleaning company which i started years ago um way before i went to uni i think i was 17 um i was in yeah i was because i was in sixth form it all started from when my mum introduced me to her friend so like i started cleaning for her um and then she was actually my nursery school teacher she's so lovely um hey sarah if you're watching but yeah i started cleaning for her and then um she introduced me to um this kind of like wealthy businessman in sandbanks who had two huge houses now i was doing like three really really big homes right and then i thought okay i need to start employing someone so i employed my best friend aaron when i think about it it's actually crazy like 17 and i had like my little employee who's my best friend really odd but funny but guys i was earning the moolah i really was because obviously i set my own price i really could have continued it if i wanted to um but i didn't and i don't know why because it's really it's lucrative i do need employees now like i'm not i don't want to be doing everything myself for like the next year i want 30 clients by the end of this year i don't want to bore all of you but um i'll have 30 clients 30 homes or like either businesses or whatever i just want 30 and they will be weekly you know weekly cleans and then um i'll employ three people and those three people will do two a day that's where the 30 clients comes from it'll be interesting to look back on this video and see if i really did accomplish everything that i have kind of spoken about i think i'm gonna leave my makeup this is it just like a natural be you know um see be able to put eyelashes on and uh to like do my hair i think also doing this is going to spur me on even more because i've actually spoken about it to the world like if i don't accomplish these five things then it's going to be a bit embarrassing on my part i encourage all of you watching to do your own thing whether it's three little resolutions or one and i feel like you need to step away from the silly like oh no chocolate for like a month for less drinking or you know no like do real legitimate resolutions like your finances your career um your life goals like you know serious resolutions guys thank you for watching i hope you all have a pleasant day pleasant evening love you all see you next time
I know I'm gonna watch this back and think, oh my God, Sharice, you look hella tired. What did you just do? 